Good morning. Happy Tuesday, April 7th. Coming to you from sunny Florida. Decided to do this outside today because it was just too beautiful and too peaceful not to. So, I kind of brought my little setup outside, as you can see, and I will probably don't need that monitor because that monitor inside controls the screen behind me. And I'm obviously not going to do a screen behind me. So I'm looking at different spots that I could do this. Um, keeping in mind, I'm trying to keep in mind how I would go mobile if I did it with my phone and my laptop, which I very well could do, which I've already set that up. So today, yesterday, what did we talk about yesterday? The present, being present, focusing on what you want. You know, one of the small struggles and challenges that I have is I, <clears throat> I so grasp the idea, I have the clarity that we are all here to have our own experiences. Now, the biggest argument to that is if you're going through something bad, we typically say, I, I didn't want that. I didn't attract this to myself. I get that. I'm not going to try to convince any. I'm not going to try to try to convince anyone any different. Although I have Ron's choice, the way I see how things happen in the world. So again, I have to remind myself: if you're here listening to this, you're you're either on the fence. Because if you don't think you have any control, if you think everything's predetermined, pre-done, pre-set, you have no control over it, then you're not really, I mean, you're not going to be here. You're not going to listen to this. And uh, unless you just, uh, no, you're, you're not going to unless you, unless that true part of you knows that that's not true. Uh, I say this with clarity and somewhat confidence because that's just how I believe. And until I'm proven otherwise, that's just how I operate my life, that I'm in control. If something bad happens, it's something that I either didn't pre-send, I didn't go forward with intention on what I wanted, so I just by default let someone Because we're here, we're, we're on this earth with a whole lot of other people that want a whole lot of other things. And, uh, you, you know, a, a magnetic force attracts. So that's, that's just the way it works. And it's because I am humble and because I don't want to push my views on other people, and I don't. And I have to remind myself that I created this platform so I could share it. Whoever wants to hear it can hear it. I'm not here to convince anybody. You don't like it, don't listen. It's just, you know, it's kind of that simple. But there are people that they're, they're looking for some answers. They're looking for some clarity. Now, a lot of people are looking for conclusions, definite answers. What you want is clarity. You just want to be a little bit more clear. It's like driving through the fog. <clears throat> You know, it's so foggy you can't see. So you're like, man, if I could just, if it could just be clear for 100 feet, 200 feet. If you can just have that clarity in front of you as you go, it's like driving at night. You know, driving with no lights, you can't see. Well, when your lights are on, you can't see a mile down the road like you can during the day, but at least you can see 200 feet in front of you. <clears throat> so for me, that's, I'm, I'm looking for that clarity. And, uh, you know, sometimes I have conversations with people and they're looking for clarity, but it's like when I share 
my view on it, it's hard to grasp, so it gets frustrating. And I get that because that's what I went through. But it's all it's all fundamental. It's all the serenity prayer. You know, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. So that's your first that's your first assignment is to as quickly as possible assess what can I change this whole pandemic and the coronavirus you cannot change uh, there's not one individual that can now a lot of doctors working together sharing information they can have a huge effect but if you're just sitting at home you can't affect the pandemic so there's no need to worry about what's going on out there all you can do is focus on what's in here so give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change give me the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference so what can you control you can control your environment you can control keeping your hands clean like I said yesterday and this you have to remember this applies to other things this applies to other things in your life you know can you control it yes or no you can't control other people you can influence them to a degree you know it's it's their choice like <clears throat> I know a lot of people are getting frustrated with what's what the media puts out what's being put out on Facebook you know people put out people put out fake stuff on purpose some people share it because they think it's real so you know we're not all investigative reporters so you make a choice a lot of people have good intentions when they share stuff because they think it's real information then it goes to you and then it's up to you to decide whether it's real or not you can't get upset because someone shared something that's not real that means that you're believing everything that's shared out there you have free will you have thought that's why all this comes down for me comes down to we are totally responsible for our world and I mean that by that's here right here in front of you your bubble you're responsible and you're in control of everything that happens to you look for evidence of that if you want your life to be like you want it to be through a pandemic or whatever you have to believe that you have to believe that you are a part of something that's bigger than you that creates worlds you are a part of that you are the creator of your world the creator you came through as part of the creator so the creator could experience life through your eyes <clears throat> now when you accept that fact to me it's fact and then you accept that everyone else operates that same way it is that is the way it works then you don't get so emotionally attached to what's happening to someone else because you know that's their experience wanted or unwanted you have to allow that it's it, it's not easy but but none of this is really easy right I mean when, when we see people struggle or hurt upset emotionally physically whatever it is um, I don't I don't want to go too deep into it at this point it's just right now in this moment you have to realize that your thoughts and your feelings control what's going on I was listening to Eckhart Tolle, Tolle, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce his name, 
And I think he was quoting someone else. Either way, he says, nothing is good or bad. We only make it so by our thoughts. So if you think about that for a second, when someone does something, someone, one person might think it's good, another person might think it's bad. So the act is neither good or bad, but the observer and their thoughts and feelings made it so for them. You just have to breathe, relax, have faith, and expect. What you truly expect will come about when it comes to you. You will find yourself attracting and bringing to you the people that will help align that and make it happen. You know, I say it over and over. Uh, you know, is are, are things bad because you think they're bad, or you think they're bad because they're bad? And it, it's most of the time it starts with a thought. That thought goes out and creates the situation. I totally believe that this pandemic was caused by a, 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 a group consciousness. There were a lot of people wanting a lot of different things to happen in the world, in their lives. And as a result, now of course people didn't want people to die and, you know, bad things to happen, but they got what they wanted. If you're able to look at the flip side of it, there's a lot of good things happening to the planet right now. So when, when, you know, a lot of times when people say, I always think positive, look at the bright side, that's, that's the point. There's the, just like a magnet, no matter how thin you slice a magnet, there's always a positive and a negative. Always will be, will be. In order for the, the earth to rotate like it does, there has to be a polarity. So that, that's just, <laughs> that's where we are, that's just the way it is. And once you become more clear about that, you'll start to realize that you're creating your own world. If you're upset and you're justifying why you're upset, but he, but she, this, 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 you're, you're just perpetuating it. The energy flows where your thought goes. So if your thought goes there, that's where all the energy is going to go. What you feed, you grow. And if you feed that anger, it's just going to grow. And that's what takes practice. And everything gets easier with practice, right? Repetition. So, you know, it's, 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 up to, it's up to you. If you keep focusing on the bad stuff, it doesn't mean that if you look the other way that the bad stuff is going to go away. It's just, you can't, you don't know why that's going on out there. You don't, you just, that, that's not up to you. You can just control what's in your world. And then you can influence around you. And if you're happy and positive and someone just is negative and, and doesn't like it, they, will, they won't be drawn to you. They'll, they'll, they'll retract. They'll go away. You know, I used to, uh, I always wanted to help. I wanted to help people. So that was my focus. So guess what? I attracted people that needed help. And I said, you know what? That's, I, I need to focus more on myself, my family, and my friends. You know, so I said, I'll help if it's needed. But I didn't walk around looking for it anymore. So it, it's, it slowed down. So be aware. That's why I always say be aware. That's why it's good to take time to meditate, to quiet your mind, be aware of your thoughts. 
be able to step back from yourself and when, when you're in a quiet mind and you're and you're meditating and and remember when I say meditating there's different types of meditation when you're when you're meditating at a point where you're trying to uh, separate your mind from your body to step back and look and see what's going on in your life and to be uh, unbiased about what's going on you, you you start to gain a little more clarity and a lot of people do it a lot of people do self-talk there's a lot of people that don't practice what they preach right they can say it but then when it comes to doing it they can't do it so all you have to do is step outside of yourself say okay what would I tell myself you know why is it that I can't do what I need to do but I can I know what everybody else needs to do that's because you're worried about everybody else <laughs> that's the art of selfishness you have to turn your thoughts inwards step back from yourself and say hey you this is what we need to do this is how we need to get what we want and it's it just takes daily practice that's why I'm trying to come to you daily with this stuff so I I have uh, I have someone really close to me that's having a really hard time with what's going on, and all I can do is is be positive the best I can, and you know their journey is their journey. All I can do is plant the seed, water it, and see if it grows. And it, it seems to work from time to time for a little bit, but uh, you know we don't have. Uh, see, when I say that, you have to realize everything I say comes with a caveat. There's a there's a, there's a flip side to everything. When I say you can't control what's going on in another world, you can if you want to. If that's what you feel your purpose is here is to make a huge change and what's going on in Africa or what's going on in somewhere else in the world you can do that when I say you can't affect other stuff that's uh, I, I'm I'm speaking in general to the general population that we're just trying to get by raise our families be happy and uh, you know do our thing All right, that's enough for today. I love you guys. Stay strong.